Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review, Pile Dripping. Pile is a Boston rock band that formed around 2007, and they're fronted by guitarist, singer, songwriter, Rick McGuire. And this may be the first time you're hearing of this band, but this is certainly not their first record. There are two full-length albums that preceded this one. <laughs> this one. And the first of this band's albums, while it did carry on the indie rock sound that they are currently working with now, there was much more of an acoustic and, and folky edge to it. Now, at this point in Pyle's progression with Dripping, the band is fully electric, guitars, bass, some acoustic to guitars mixed in occasionally with these tracks as well as synthesizer. And even though the band's overall sound is, is louder, more distorted, beefier, McGuire's singer-songwriter biases are still there in the focus on melody and storytelling with a lot of these tracks, albeit some abstract storytelling for the most part. So while, yeah, these guys are certainly still an indie rock band, elements of alternative rock and post-hardcore as well pop up on this new LP, which is kind of me using genre label code words to tell you that this band sounds like the 90s. Oh, that is my favorite time for music. Dave's band, the Red Hat Silly Peppers, Counting on the Crows, the Melissa Glocklin, and uh, Coolio, the Coolio. Well, Pyle certainly does not take any influence from those artists, at least on the surface. What influences are obvious on this LP is stuff like the heavy riffage of Fugazi or Shellac, the emotive and slightly wimpy balladry of a band like Built to Spill, the aggressive instrumental and, and vocal freakouts of a band like Modest Mouse, and for sure, Pyle takes a page from the Pixies playbook in really just riding that loud soft dynamic across many of these tracks to just kind of give them a roller coaster ride effect. Despite the fact that the sound here has distortion, aggression, guts. A lot of these tracks just do not lose their their sense of melody and harmoniousness. Some of the embellished guitar chords that, that play along to a lot of these tunes are pretty impressive as well. And if that's not enough to win you over, a lot of the choruses on these tracks are just explosive sonically and emotionally. And what would a great rock album be without some catchy vocals, which totally come into play right on the song Baby Boy, where McGuire screams on the hook, those baby teeth won't grow, except he sings it better. However, by contrast, the very next track has much more of a folky feel to it, which really shines through on the beautifully executed finger-picked guitar chords on that track with these lovely background vocals singing over it. Run away. It's really catchy. I just wish the verses weren't so mumbled vocally, kind of weary. I'm sure that emotion was intended to an extent, but the vocals just seem mixed a little low on this track, and some other tracks, too. And while I'm on the vocals, that's really my only major issue stylistically with this band. The vocals don't have a ton of character to them, I would say. It's not like I could pick this guy's voice easily out of a lineup, I think, but there is sincere and just genuine emotion on a lot of these tracks. I mean, just explosive, explosive performances, especially when he does reach into that range of his voice where he is screaming at the top of his lungs with just all of his might. It's kind of impressive. To contrast the sweeter and more acoustic spots on this LP, Like So Hard, you have a song like Grunt Like a Pig, which is this heavy, hard riffing, attention grabbing song with a groove in seven that the band works out awesomely. And it's on this spot on the album where McGuire's vocals actually really grab me because he sounds manic on that track. The closing track on this LP has another folky intro, but it contrasts it later in the song with another explosion where McGuire's coming through with a very confident, fiery vocal delivery. And I love the opening lyrics to this track where he's singing about trying to keep up by running in place. There's a significant change in sound and emotion on that track, and I like how the music 
for the most part, matches what McGuire is doing vocally. The band really accommodates these mood swings with song structures that typically step out of that verse, chorus, verse style, because what Mark is feeling really kind of depends where he is in his story. So do expect guitar interludes on this album, quiet spots, like I said, explosions, and some weird segues, most notably on tracks like Prom Song and The Browns. There are moments of straightforwardness on this LP, like the song Steve's Mouth, which is kind of this somber acoustic track where the vocal delivery actually, in a way, reminds me of the Silver Jews. However, the obtuseness of the lyrics do not say that to me, where McGuire's singing about this guy Steve waking up, sitting on his head, weeping. And that's another thing about this album. I mean, while it is an energetic rock LP, it is subtly obtuse. And I like that. The slight sense of confusion I get from this LP does kind of keep me coming back for more and does keep me guessing. However, I wouldn't say the barrage of different ideas in any given song is necessarily the best thing all the time. I mean, the track, The Browns, to me actually kind of gets bogged down in this kind of stuff and, and loses a bit of focus in the process. I mean, overall, this LP is just a great no BS rock album with an amalgamation of established styles and sounds. But, you know, the songs are, are there, the emotions are there, and the performance is, is there between these guys as well. I do wish the recording didn't feel so slightly lo-fi and tattered. It does kind of make a lot of these tracks feel samey samey on the surface, but as I listened to this album more, there was a lot of magic here for me. Um, feeling a, I want to say a strong seven to a light eight on this LP. If you've given it a listen, what did you think of it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Why? And what should I review next? Anthony Fantano? Pile? Forever. Forever.